Hello everyone and how are you doing today? First of all let me welcome you to the channel and I am here today with Luke Skywalker complete and updated guide. First let's talk about abilities and star cards. Luke's first ability is push. Luke uses his force push to push enemies away while dealing 150 damage. If used against a hero it only deals 90 damage. Second, we have Ripple. Luke slams a burst of force energy against the ground, dealing 130 damage to all enemies standing 360 degrees around him. If used against the heroes, it only deals 75 damage. Last, but not least, we have Rush. Luke uses the force to enhance himself and close in on a target while dealing 100 damage to any target hit. This is not only used as a damage dealer, but also as a mobility ability, just like Darth Maul's spin attack. Now, the first star card I use is Cleansing the Darkness, which grants Luke 20 HP back each time he kills a trooper, and 100 HP back once maxed out each time he kills an enemy hero, or in this case an enemy villain. This is a must-have and Luke's best survivability star card. Second, I use Jedi Reflexes, which grants Luke an extra charge for Rush. As a damage dealer and as a mobility ability, it's great to have an extra charge although you get the 10% slower recharge rate when maxed out. For the third and last star card I use Epicenter, which grants Luke a 40 damage bonus when maxed out to every enemy standing on half of Repulse's radius dealing a total of 170 damage to troopers and 115 damage to heroes. I use this card for a more aggressive playstyle. Now, let's talk about life, movement and basics. Luke has a base 750 HP and the maximum he can regenerate when not taking any damage is 200 HP, which is pretty solid considering his speed, his regeneration rate and his regeneration delay. Luke is one of the fastest heroes in the game and he should almost always be jumping, running and dodging when not attacking or blocking. Don't forget to use block not only to block incoming damage but also to damage and kill enemies by reflecting their own shots or even other players or turret shots. To kill a trooper you can use any combination of two of Luke's abilities like two saber attacks, one saber attack and one rush, one rush and one repulse, one repulse and one saber attack or even two consecutive rushes. You can also one shot specialists assault troopers and officers if they are not using any HP buff by using force push or a repulse if your targets are standing within half of repulse's radius thanks to the epicenter star card. How to use rush You can use rush to close in on your target while dealing damage and also to get out of danger. How to use push and repulse You can use both push and repulse as an opener attack and then close in and finish the job. For a better and safer push use Try using it while jumping. Take him. You can use both of these abilities to interrupt your enemy's attacks and abilities and also to deal with enemies later given the fact that you get around 2 seconds to attack or to run. You can use both of these abilities to throw your enemies off ledges. You can use both push and repulse as a finisher attack.
How to 1v1 every enemy villain. Keep in mind this is not 100% accurate and it can be interrupted, but if you practice it, understand it and time it well, you can become a look godlike player. This is the rotation. First you open with push, close in and deal damage with rush. Use one or two saber attacks followed by a repulse. Close in again with rush while dealing some more damage, finish him off with one to four saber attacks. Keep in mind, you can throw an extra rush on any part of the rotation, and you can swap repulse and push order of use. Guys, this is it for today. I hope you liked my guide, I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope it helps you improving your game. Thanks for watching and for your support, don't forget to leave a like, comment and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.